All right, so I am just realizing one made a new episode. I've uh, been waiting for this. Feels nice to finally type again. This thing hasn't been charged in forever. Tell us everything that happened. Well, I was only gone for a few days, but by the time I came back I was already left in the garage. Normally I couldn't let myself be seen as alive otherwise he'd flip out, but now that I was alone I could research more about the competition without any suspicion. Wait a second. Are there... other living text boxes? Here? Not any that I know of, but I've always had a feeling that I'm not the only one. That second batch of contestants assured me I'm not completely alone in my situation. So... inanimate objects could be living here too? Hiding from... I would assume so. Keep going. He never actually turned off the computer so I had until the battery died on its own. Luckily it was enough time to discover this. This website has information on all the contestants that were on the plane. I have no idea who made this or why it exists, but this could help us out. Okay, I have a feeling that Stone made these. It even has info on the other batches of contestants. This is about all I was able to find before the computer died. Season 2. What? Look, right next to the batch, it says Season 2. Oh. I guess I never noticed this. Is that cat sounds? No. One of the original contestants lives in New York City. It's only about an hour and a half drive from here. Bryce? Are you implying that we actually try and find this guy? Yeah, why not? Why? Liam, this is New York City. Finding one guy among 8 million people is like winning the lottery. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. It says here that he's homeless. If that's still true, he's almost certainly at a homeless shelter. Come on, man. There has to be at least a hundred of those shelters in New York. Even if our odds were slim, this could be vital information we're neglecting. We check every homeless shelter we can. If he's not there, we come back. That sounds reasonable to me. Fine, let's go. Yay. Oh man. <laughs> Text box is alone again. Not this one. Or this one. Or this one. Wait, is that him over there? Hey, are you Oscar? Yep. I'll pack up my stuff. Where am I going next? The one on 10th is pretty nice, close to the old pizza place. <laughs> We're not here to kick you out. We just want to ask you some things. Okay. We have a very particular issue, and we think you might have some information about it. Oh, yeah. I've got some information for you. <laughs> not this again. Do you recognize the name Aerie at all? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, Airy. Yeah, he's right over there. L listen to me! <laughs> Were you in any way involved in a mysterious competition with the selection of others for a wish for anything you want? That's oddly specific. Wait a second. It was in a grassy field, everything was very geometric, and the host was an invisible voice named Airy. Does any of that- Hold on, hold on. What did the other contestants look like? Uh, one of them was a roll of toothpaste, another was- That's right! There was a toothpaste guy! And that host! He just sounded so incompetent, like 
he didn't know what he was doing. I swear, he'd be so close to killing one of us and just kept apologizing for it. You guys have had that dream too? Great minds think alike, I guess. That wasn't- Do you happen to remember anything else that happened in the dream? Well, geez, I had that dream at least a decade ago now. I, I hardly remembered it when you brought it up. I remember there was a button girl, and uh, I remember seeing a bunch of big sticks, and before I knew it, I woke up. And uh, yeah, that's about it, sorry. You realize everything you just described actually- One last question, if you don't mind. The bottle's not- <laughs> I don't know what his real name is. I'm just gonna call them their objects because I'm I'm too lazy to call them their actual names. Bottle's not letting Backpack finish his sentences. Would you happen to know what any of these mean? Liam, give me the notes. Hmm, no clue. I wish I could help out, but these mean nothing to me. By the way, why are you guys asking me all this stuff? We're doing a study on the commonality of dreams. Competition dreams seem to be an outlier in our research. Thanks for participating. It was 50 bucks. Oh, thanks, man. What the heck was that about? That was nice to give him money. I mean, he is homeless. Oh, you heard him. It happened over a decade ago. It would take way too long to convince him it was real. Even so, he hardly remembered any of it. Well, that's good they actually found him. <sighs> we didn't gain any new information from that. Where do we even go from here? How do these numbers mean anything? What do the numbers mean, though? <gasps> These episodes are getting are going way too short now. I guess that's that's one though. It's so the episodes are so short, but they give us so much more information in every episode, which is awesome. This episode we didn't really we didn't really get much. All we got to see was like a website with all of them and stuff. But that was about it. Uh, my keybinds are working for some reason. But yeah, that's that's one for now. Um, I'll keep you guys up in next episode. Yeah, bye. Uh. It's me. What the?